Our daughter is 20 years old. We've helped her build her credit when she was 19. Why? Because the sooner she builds her credit, the easier for her to take advantage of better rates, better loan repayment options, or bigger loans. If you're a young adult, what steps can you take to build your credit? First, open a student credit card. Most banks offer this, and it's okay if the credit limit is low at first because the interest rate will also be low. Second, if your bank doesn't approve you for one, apply for a secured credit card instead. You give the bank $1,000 cash and they in turn give you a $1,000 credit card. This minimizes the risk for the banks. If you default the payment, they just cash your deposit. This is not permanent. After a set period of time, you would have built enough level of trust you can withdraw the $1,000 and still keep the same credit limit. Third, if the first two are not good options, apply for a joint credit card with a parent. Make sure it's a joint credit card and not a supplementary credit card. Please make note, a student credit card, a secured credit card, or a joint credit card will show up on your credit history. However, a supplementary card will not. Hence, it's important to make a distinction when opening one. Having your parent as the co-applicant will improve your chances of getting approved for a credit card. Fourth, make payments on time. Paying your debts on time is one of the most important factors in getting a great credit score. If you're late in any payments, beware. They will stay in your credit history for seven years and it can drag your score down. In fact, my daughter pays off the balance of her credit cards in full. This is a better strategy. Start this habit early. The habit of hating carrying a credit card balance. Most Canadians get into serious trouble such as filing for bankruptcy, because of too much credit. Credit cards are supposed to be for establishing credit only and getting points. Never treat it as an extra cash. That is the fastest way to ruin your financial future. Fifth, make sure you use less than 75% of the limit. If your balance is always close to the limit, it can bring down your credit score. To recap, what mistakes should you be avoiding? Having too many credit cards? Two is enough using credit cards up to the maximum credit limit and missing payment. I hope the steps and mistakes to avoid are helpful to you. Kindly like and share to inspire more youth to take charge of their financial future. And by the way, if you're thinking of buying, refinancing, or renewing your mortgage, contact us at 604-436-4600 or you can send us an email at team at carista.ca. My name is Bernadette Laxman and I'm the president of Carista Mortgage. We help you get a great mortgage and use it to build wealth because we believe that real estate is the best tool to achieve financial independence. Thanks for watching.